Hey, a couple of weeks ago we showed you how to um, unbox a Tesla V100. That wasn't too difficult, but actually putting in a V100 in a commercial computer, like one that you can just buy on the street, is not as easy. Because the V100 has no active cooling. So it's all just passive metal that should cool the GPU. And um, we actually took out the V100 recently and wanted to do an how to retrofit a V100 cooled and put it into a normal computer. All that you need is actually as a basis a fan. This is a PC um, I slot fan. Um, you need a power adapter for the V100. You need a hexor, some scissors, this one and some isolation tape. Um, you can do it in generally I think in 10 minutes if you want to do it like more fancy maybe a half an hour. Pretty simple. So what you want to do is you take the fan and you actually take off the blind from it and you do two things. First you cut out um, three of those pieces, or actually four. So from the notch that is actually longer, um, the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And just make sure that it's on the lower part. When you took it out, actually the most easy thing is not to use the hexor, but actually just wiggle left and right um, and until they get loose, and then you actually have something like this. So it's rather simple. Um, you could take like a grinder and make it soft. I think that's a good idea, but um, it's not 100% necessary. Um, and after you have that, what you actually doing is you put through this wire. Reason being, just to show you very quick, uh, here's the power connector and as you might assume we attach it like this so you need to get the power out. So what you do then as a second step, you cut out here a little piece. Just make sure to have enough distance between the notch here Otherwise, it will become unstable and you can maybe not attach the blind anymore. And just maybe a centimeter over this line, cut it out so that the wires have enough space to go through. If you're done with this, it's actually not that much left. Um, you take the V100. Um, Put in the connectors until it clicks. Really make sure that you hear the click because um, the construction, um, as soon as you close it, you don't see that well anymore um, the connector, or you don't see it at all actually. So you want to make sure that it's really connected. Oh, I forgot one thing, main reminder thing. Uh, bend this part of the PCI uh, blind um, towards, the, towards the center and bend it like until you have like a bit of pressure. Don't do it too much, otherwise you're gonna scratch the V100. But when you attach it that you have on this side a bit of pressure that will already keep actually the fan a bit in place. It, yes, and then you just see that you get this um, blind onto the V100 and there we, you go. You already have the blind connected, you have the, the power connector still in and then there are two steps left. One is, of course, connect the fan. So also here just make sure that the wire is, stays in place and it doesn't disconnect. And then you see, it's actually, oh. So the, the only 
um, issues or the only little challenging part is that the uh, wires are a bit bent here. I, they don't, they're not bent severely, but just a bit. So just make sure um, to uh, keep them in place. Okay. Actually, at this point, they cannot break anything unless you maybe are too hard on the GPU and you bend the connectors, what you don't want to do, but yeah, that's it. And then last but not least, you take the isolation tape and you go around this edge and just make sure that the airflow can't go towards the side. So you have the maximum cooling and then just connect it to your power supply within the computer and you're ready to go and you have an actively cooled um, GPU. Um, of course, I need to say this for liability reason. If you do this, you do it on your own risk. Um, it is working for us, but um, it's your own liability. All right, this is the how-to and have fun with whatever you do with it, mining or in our case, deep learning.